doing uh, one of the brand new games on uh, Game Pass, as well as just everything else. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the game. Please don't forget, like, subscribe, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of where I place these victims and killers. Family, I should say. Um, and let's get started. We're gonna go, Leatherface definitely just has to go S tier. I mean, I think just with the fact that he is the only killer, uh, or family member, I should say, that can destroy the, um, barricades, that's huge, as well as, you know, doors, um, that's, that's a big thing that the family needs to, um, succeed 99% of the time, as well as him being able to, if you play him well enough and get good with him, um, be able to kill a, I believe a full health, if not a full health, a very high health, um, victim as well with his chainsaw. Now that takes a little bit of skill, and all of these, um, characters could definitely be considered S tier or D tier, depending on, you know, their perks, how you play them, um, and all of that, so keep that in mind, but... Overall, I would have to put the poster boy leather face up and S tier. I think he deserves it. Um, arguably, you definitely always need a leather face on your team, almost always, um, as you're running family. We will also put uh, Leland up here just for shits and giggles, being able to uh, strike the family members. I think it's obviously very funny i'm sure everybody has seen that on youtube or tiktok or everything else I, I think honestly that is arguably the most viable um victim in the game just because of that even if you don't survive being able to do that is huge uh to help yourself and or your teammates uh so i think he deserves it minimum i think it's a tier at the worst for leland there um but i think it's a very very good um, to be able to do that in super funny minimum, um, better than a lot of the other, uh, victims down here. Um, I'm gonna put... I almost want to put Hitchhiker in S, um, and the biggest reason why he's not in S is because a lot of him is just, um... Not consistent, so I think Hitchhiker is definitely one of the better um, family members in the game. He's definitely my personal favorite. Um, I like setting down the traps. I like being able to go through the crevices and the walls and stuff, something that Leatherface can't do. Um, but being able to do that really helps you get after the victims. Now, obviously the worst part about him and um, Sunny is and even the cook is being able to not do a lot of damage when you actually attack, but the hitchhiker also does have traps. Now the traps obviously, again, are not super consistent. They're relatively easy to see. They can also be destroyed with the, um, the bones that the victims have if they pick them up. Um, and they also, they do do some damage, but you don't, unless you really put some points into Hitchhiker. They're not going to do a lot of damage nor hold them for very long, but it is very useful. It's nice to know when or if your traps get triggered. Um, so I think Hitchhiker is very useful. Again, biggest reason why is because it's hard to lose him in chases unless there's barricades or you just naturally kind of lose them, but um, being able to go through the walls is huge. Um, another reason why I have to put Sunny um, up there as well. Uh, I think being able to do that is huge. Now, I would say that her um, ability is less useful than the Hitchhiker's, but you can hit it more frequently because it's up to you to do it and not up to the victims to fall into the trap. Um, but Sunny also does not do a whole lot of damage, but she can also go through um, cracks in the wall or under um, the little... Um, I don't want to call them barricades, I guess, uh, trap doors, if you will. So I think she's super useful, but neither of them do a lot of actual physical damage. It's much more their fantastic utility. Um, so yeah, I think they definitely deserve A. 
Now, Sonny over here, I think I'll give him an A as well. Um, I don't think I want to give him an S, but the biggest reason why I give him an A is because it is very, very useful to know uh, where the killers are a whole lot of the time. Um, obviously, at the beginning of the game, it's very much um, hurry to get out of the basement, but then it kind of turns into if you can escape the basement and get out into the actual map, it's very quiet and slow for the most part unless you're being chased or you're Leland um, so Sonny is very good to be able to um, not trigger anything um, play very slow know where everybody's at now the other one with that is the cook I think the cook definitely deserves an A because of that as well um, being able to hear the survivors a lot more than the other um, killers or family members can is pretty huge. Um, he does an okay amount of damage, not a whole lot, and he's pretty slow. He's definitely not the most useful killer in the game, but as far as utility and, and knowledge and information, he's one of the best for sure, and I think he deserves an A spot. Um, I am going to honestly put Johnny um, down here, and uh, I mean, in a way, I think he deserves an A, but between like Johnny and the cook, I think those are honestly the two worst uh, family members, not necessarily that any of them are bad by any means, but um, being able to track is not always available essentially um, whether it's the cooldown or just you know footprints in general um, he's not always the most helpful or useful because he can't always track somebody um, essentially if nobody has been through wherever or you know now he does do a very good amount of damage uh, I think he's second in damage compared to Leatherface um, so that's useful, and I don't think he's bad by any means, but again, as far as usefulness, not only just to kill by yourself, um, but as a team, um, it definitely kind of goes in this order to me as far as uh, family members. Now next, oof, a lot of these victims are just iffy. Um... Honestly, I think I gotta put Julia in A just because of her not being able to be heard so much by the bones, I believe. And then also um, her ability isn't too bad, but a lot of the victims I think are just mid. I think definitely when you see a group of victims, it's usually uh, in this type of order. It's usually these two boys and then two girls, depending on however you want to play. But overall, I don't find, I definitely find this game to be very killer heavy um, or friendly, I should say. It's definitely a lot easier to win as the family than it is to win as the survivors, in my opinion, anyway. Um, so, yeah, the, the victims are just, um, they don't have enough utility, and unfortunately, honestly, and I liked playing Julia uh, myself, but it's just those abilities, other than Leland's, honestly, they're not the most useful to me. Um, but, you know, if you go farther in the skill tree or deep into a certain build, then, you know, again, anybody can be S or D tier. But that's essentially where I would place everybody. Um, so let me know down in the comments what you guys think, where you guys would place your favorite and least favorite Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the game Killers and Survivors. And please don't forget, like, subscribe, check out all my other 